Welcome back to Power Lunch. I'm Seema Modi. One of the year's biggest holiday shopping seasons is right around the corner. But how do you trade it beyond the obvious plays? The National Retail Federation is predicting Thanksgiving weekend will see 2 million more shoppers than last year and kick off another record-breaking holiday season. So let's talk Black Friday beyond retail with the Trading Nation team today. Ava Ados of ER Shares, Bill Baruch of Blue Line Capital. And Ava, it's not just retailers that will profit, right? That's definitely true. So what we what we are seeing is that because it's expected to be a very strong holiday season and we have limited availability, consumers have an incentive to buy as much as they can now. But what do they do if they don't have a credit card like two thirds of the millennials or if they don't have sufficient cash? That's where buy now, pay later comes. And we have two stocks in this area that we like, Affirm and Square. We like Affirm because of its exclusive relationship with Amazon, which we believe it's going to catapult its growth. In fact, Amazon announced today they're going to end the relationship uh, with Visa in the UK and possibly in the US too. And that's big news. Uh, let's also remember that Amazon has warrants in Affirm, which has, which makes, uh, which uh, suggests that they have a bigger incentive to do so. Affirm is also a company that that is launching a debit card with interest-free installment payments, which will help them gain market share from the offline right. market as well. The sec, yes. No, I see. I, I hear you there. Affirm and Square, both winning trades really in recent weeks. But Bill, uh, you've got a chart for us. What are you watching? Yeah, everybody's talking about inflation, and and I think we're. We need, here's another way to look at it out there. And the fact that retail sales yesterday it was a hot number. It was a much better than everybody expected. But this is a value-based number. So it doesn't mean that necessarily people are buying more. They're just spending more. And are they? Are, I think this is starting to sign that the consumer could be wearing out. Now, this isn't the time to really be chasing retail names. I hear a lot of retail names in the news. And yeah, we own Lulu, we own Kohl's, we own Target. We have we have exposure there, but I wouldn't be adding exposure at these levels. And I think take a look at the relative strength of the XLY, the the retail, the Spider Retail uh, Consumer Discretionary ETF against the SPY. And if you see here, it topped out through going into September of last year, couldn't get out of that level uh, in January. And really, the time to be buying retail stocks was in through the August weakness, and it's led the S&P higher. Now, it's outperformed for the last four or five weeks, but it's hit a peak again. I think it's up there in a lot of resistance. I do not see the retail space. I do not see consumer discretionary outperforming the S&P 500 for at least the next few weeks or a few months. Got it. Good perspective, Bill and Ava. We appreciate it.